So, as I mentioned last Friday, one of the systems is building your own little village. As you notice, I have a lot more of it done since I had done it on last Friday. There's a reason for it. Please note the bottom left corner. I have zero out of 43. Zero means I have no free villagers. I have 43 villagers. You get a villager normally with a 3DS whenever you do a spot pass, when you walk past someone with another system who's played the game, and you basically trade information with each other and you become a villager for said person. We can't do spot pass with the emulation. I think I had something like 40 odd on my actual system, so I did that. I found an editing program that allowed me to adjust the number of villagers. I could have just opened up the entire village, but I said, screw it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cheat to that extent. So we're doing this. I've also been running the game minimized and muted, as you saw, off to the side, just to count down these timers. These timers do not count down along with the internal clock like they would have with the 3DS. The 3DS, you could actually save your game, turn it off or suspend it, and these would actually count down. Um, but yeah, can't do that with this one. So we're just doing it as we do it. Hot for a second, I thought it was breaking. You missed it. Did you need your help? Before? Wait, were you talking for this one, Death by Day? At the moment, no. Um, I've played the, the original Bravely Default on my 3DS. I was trying to unlock Vampire the last time I had done it, so I'm I've I know the game. I actually have been playing, as of Friday, Bravely Default 2 on my Switch, and I like it a lot. Um, I miss some of the things that were in this one. By the way, if you haven't seen this, I don't send anyone else to attack. Anya's just punches everyone's face in and there's nothing left. And this is just... A it's just, there's just bloody pulp. Um, I do like the overworld system that's in Bravely Default 2, where you run around the overworld. It's really, really cool. It's very pretty. Um, I feel like you get way too much stuff in the grass sometimes, but at the same time, considering that the game is as difficult as it can be, I don't think I'm going to care all that much. You've never seen this game? Bravely Default is fantastic. It's based off of the old Final Fantasy system. Early Monkey's OP. <laughs> Especially with these gloves that I have on her. <laughs> oh, my encounter rate is up. I forgot. I need to turn that down. That's why we're getting attacked like crazy. I originally did that so I could um, grind a little bit. Then I saw how much it was grinding, how long it was taking, and I kind of gave up on that. I mean, we did get levels just now, but... I mean, we're getting so little experience at the moment, it's not worth it. Um, tactics. Configuration. Difficulty. Encounter rate. Drop it down to normal. Yeah, the, so again, real quick, I showed it last time, but if you want to just explore dungeons with the original Bravely Default, you can literally drop your encounter rate down to non-existent to where you don't get any random encounters. Um, the standard is to leave it at this, where you get it at the normal rate, but if you're really trying to grind, you can up your encounter rate, as you saw, and get attacked every, like, two steps. Um, there's also a difficulty level that you can put the game at. Um, it's, it's really nice, and it's, it's, it's just, it makes the game easier and a lot more enjoyable to play. The game itself, as far as gameplay, it's, it's challenging. What you're seeing right now is not very representative of the actual difficulty this game can get into. And I'll go over the battle system again real quickly for anyone who missed it from beforehand on Friday. Because the whole battle system is based on the Brave Default system. Anya's leveled. Oh, Anya's. So when you're in combat, defaulting is essentially defending, but when you default, you get one BP, which is a brave point. Um, brave points can be used to take an extra action within a battle, 
You can also use Brave Punt points in advance, which means every turn that happens afterwards you have to come up. So currently it says Anya's has zero Brave points, but she goes into negative one. If I tell her to Brave, she can take an extra action during her turn, but it's going to take her two turns before she can move again. And she can do that up to four times. Um, considering I know that she's going to be able to beat the crap out of these guys, I'm just having everyone default and her just brave and beating the crap out of them. Because I know she's not going to need those for four turns. Ring a bell gained a level. Um, I don't even remember this dungeon all that well. I don't remember any of the dungeons, honestly. All I remember was just grinding for forever in them. The gloves that are on her right now, I never found when I first played it. I think I found them much later on when I was trying to clear out quests out of my book. Um, so, I never was OP when I went into this area. And I don't think, I mean, I was using Monk, but Monk without these Knuckles does half the amount of damage she's currently doing. Um, there's nothing here, I don't think, is there? I don't remember, no. Wait, how are we on health? Oh, jeez. Uh, not ring a bell. Um, so you can equip, each character can have a class, and I'm trying to, like, they each have a job, and I'm trying to level up certain jobs. Um, currently, Adia and Tiz are both freelancers, which is the quote-unquote starting job, but at the same time, it has some really good unlocks in it. Ring a Bell is set as a black mage, and Anya is set as a monk. You also have secondary classes you can set them to. Um, secondary classes means if you have it as their secondary class, which is up here, I'm sorry, it means that they can use all the abilities attached to that class. So since he's set as white magic, he can essentially use black and white magic. He is essentially a red mage. There is a red mage class in the game, though, so he's not an actual red mage. That's an actual job. Just just punch them. And the other thing someone else was pointing out last week, on Friday when I was doing this, was Anya's battle stance when she's done during her victory pose. How she just punches their faces in, but she just looks like, oh no didn't kill them how did you fail oh because they're new they're different no she looks like she's so fragile over there on the side she's all like i broke my wrist <laughs> give me this potion whoopee we're fine Love this battle. This this dungeon music is just one of my favorites. Do I have you guys identified? I don't have the panther identified. Well, as long as it survives, Ratatosker, honey. That's the name of the little flying thing. Remember Ratatosker? <laughs> How do you not remember Ratatosker? Remember from Heroine's quest? Yes. The little... I am back. Yeah, the, no, the little Doom Squirrel. Yes. He was the Arbiter of Doom. That's what we have to do. What is he weak to? Fire. Here, magic. Just, just do it. Bye. It was overkill. I did not need to use magic. Did not need to use any of that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get the other chest, which is why I'm coming this way. That goes outside. Why does that go outside? Or under PG. The other stairs goes downstairs. What are these guys? Sky archers. Alright, you will go do this. 
I'm gonna have you examine one and then just attack and finish off whatever Anya says kill. Never mind. We're never gonna know anything about them because Anya just punches their faces in and beats them to bloody pulps. She's supposed to be the demure, like, little fragile end of character. I'm sorry. So Friday when I was playing this for the first time, I, I allowed chat to basically dictate what the characters were. Initially, I was just going to do my own thing, and then everyone said, no, no, make the little girls all the tanks and make the boys the weekly little mages. And I was like, okay, done. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Adia is set to be one of the fighters by, like, the game is all like, make her a, make her a fighter. Adia is potentially one of your stronger fighters. Um, we're gonna have you do that. Oh. Salmon. An attack. Adia used to move the fastest for me on my game. But I guess she's competing against a monk. Yes, buff women. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tiz is poison. If you hear any noises, it's me with my little my tumbler and my iced coffee. Is examine analyze? Yeah, it's basically like Libra examine um, analyze. Can't hear it. Good. Um, examine is here. Um, you go into job. It's the easy way. Examine is attached to the freelance profession, so you need to have someone, like, under freelance. Am I gay? Yes. My husband's sitting on the other side. <laughs> um, treat heals. It's a kind of a really crappy heal, so I never use it. Divining rod, I almost always have at least one character with it equipped. It shows how many, uh, chests are left in each of the dungeons. Um... Monk. I also like I've been like I said, I've been playing Bravely Default 2. As soon as I got Divining Rod, I stuck it on one of my characters. <laughs> uh Monk has no abilities for him since I haven't even leveled up Monk. White Mage currently has magic defense 10% up, which is what I really, really want. Um I got magic defense up initially because we fought against a black mage. Um, white magic level 1, so we can only cast white magic level 1 spells. You have to level up white mage more to be able to unlock the other two. Um, the Black Mage one, in level one, is, it's just Black Mage level one, whatever. I, th these are the only classes I have. You have to beat certain bosses just to be able to, um, just to be able to get other Aceris. And if you see Dilzik typing in chat, that's my husband. Which I do the same, though half the time I have my own, like, my own Twitch username did the dilly bit one that I use that I never stream from and never use other than just to identify myself. Uh, you'll sometimes see me in the chat. If it's extreme, that is. Why are you so broken already? Beautiful. Um, just, I don't want to use Ring of Bell because he's at 69 and I don't remember if... 69 MP. I don't remember if he if we have a boss fight that I'm gonna need him for. So can you just anal examine one of them? Just examine. Go. <laughs> we don't want him to use magic spells because his MP is the perfect 69. <laughs> Honestly, because he's set to be a, a character that has nothing but magic going on, I keep using Tiz for healing right now. Did I take her down? I did. I see something on the map up there. Top right corner-ish? No. Maybe? Hold on. What part are we at? We're trying to get the airship. Um, very, very, very beginning, still the first area. Um, and if I remember correctly, there is a 
boss fight immediately afterwards, but I don't remember what asterisks we're going to be up against. I think we're supposed to be going to the desert area immediately afterwards. I don't think she can heal herself. I think it's a white mage ability. Oh no, she does have an ability to do that. But she can't use it now. <sighs> no, I'm going this way. You know what? Special tactics, configure, difficulty, encounter rate. Because I wanna le I wanna go out, but I have a feeling I might have left. I think I'm overthinking it. I don't think there's another way in here. It looks like there's an uh, an opening up here, but I think it's just the way the map looks. Yeah, no, it's I have to go from somewhere else. It's just the way the map looks. I'm gonna double check downstairs and then we'll leave. Or go out the northwest point. I don't know how much ether I have. I have four. Hmm. Yeah. We're not going to have to worry about healing. At least for a bit, I don't think. We'll find out. Sorry, cleaning the keyboard, I've done that. <laughs> oh, there's an update to the town. River part shop is complete. Level two. Um, that's not able to be acted on yet. I think this. How many do I have? Six? Here, we'll put two in there. I want to upgrade something else. This determines what's available, I think, with the guy that sells stuff on the side. Wouldn't have to do it much, but your saw boots at the computer. I usually just push my keyboard away from me to make sure I don't get crumbs in it. Sometimes it happens, but usually turning it upside down, doing a tap a tap on it, does it. Punch them all in the face, Anyas. Punch the kitty in the face. Punch the flying squirrel. <laughs> You get bonus points for, like, making sure you kill things on the first turn, not taking any damage, that kind of thing. Ooh, a white cape. That prevents silence? Nullify silence. Not exactly what I want to take off. Here. I remember money having a, I remember having an issue with money, so I didn't just buy whatever. I already had a bit of an issue with money in the very, very beginning. Who don't we know anything about? We know a stuff about all of them. Um you can default default default. default. Why did you split that up? Actually, no. Hmm. Coffee. You always just braved and messed up your party. Yeah, it'll it'll mess you up if you do it. 
think when I first played it, I was I didn't brave as often. I defaulted a lot, and I got really yeah, I got really really scared with it constantly. So I defaulted way more. Um, I think I've gotten a good enough handle on the way the system works now that I don't have too many problems with it. The boss fights are always the challenge. Um, honestly, I don't know why we're waiting another turn. Just have a Dia kill them off and us kill them off. Really? I really hate the poison arrow stuff. Why, like, why can't they at least hit? No, Ring of Bell's not even a white mage. It doesn't matter if hit him. White Mage has a passive ability where um, they automatically heal any condition off of them once they get the battle ends. I don't remember if you can get that as a passive with anyone else. I know in Bravely Default 2 you can. I think it's actually attached to uh, the Freelancer. Gotta keep that at 69 as much as possible. <laughs> Giggity. Oh, I forgot about those chests. Those stereotypical chests that they would stick in JRPGs up. You can't open this right now, but later on you will be able to. Go and retread all your old grounds. I forget what's in them. I even forget how the heck you're supposed to open them. Actually, hold on. You're not going to be able to kill him, Tiz. Oh, wait, you did. Congratulations. Well, Anya punches all of them in the face. Okay, she could have done this alone. Good morning, sorceress. Um, one potion. Can I have more ether, please? Thanks. Four ether. Oh, look who it is. It only gets worse from here on in. Oh, it's. I can see him over there. We're gonna be fighting a knight. Damn it. He doesn't sell anything. Else. Uh. So the easiest way to do this, honestly, use the teleport stone to leave. You eventually get that as a spell. But then what we do is we sit there and we say, Spash Tactics, Config, Difficulty, Encounter Rate. Trust me, I normally would fight my way all the way back to the town and all the way back here just for the bits of experience points and job points I get, but since I'm streaming it, I'm trying not to, like, bog it down with a whole bunch of grinding because I can always grind off stream. It does get really tiring to just the grinding. You're watching your first horror movie tonight and you're super nervous, nervous grew up without them. Yeah, I'm not very good with horror films. <laughs> There's some I can watch. But that's, um, good luck. <laughs> You'll be fine. Isaac loves horror, too. Isaac loves, loves, loves horror. Um, I kind of want to see if there's, like, a hat for Anya. <laughs> like, Anya, do you need a hat? She's all like... <laughs> Bye. Get her a bronze helm. Pointy hat. No. Leather hat. How much does a leather hat do? Physical defense one. Physical defense two. Honestly. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> She's a monk with a bronze helmet on. <laughs> The Conjuring. I like The Conjuring. Conjuring's one of the ones I can watch. Yeah, and it's not really, really bad jump scare. It's a lot of um, atmosphere from what I remember. It's probably one of the better ones to start off as, like, your first horror. Started with Darkness Falls. Meanwhile, I was a little child and my dad decided to try to introduce me to Poltergeist as my first war. No, that was not an okay film for a little child to be watching. I I got I was I was scarred. Scarred. Alright, we're running back. Darkness Falls was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's all like, Darkness Falls, I loved it, got addicted. Darkness Falls is garbage. Smack! <laughs> I don't know anything about it. We did? Which one was it? Oh, it was garbage. Yeah. It was so bad. <laughs> you know, you're right, it was garbage. <laughs> Isaac made me watch that one with him, it was so bad. I was like staring at him all like, why is this horror? <laughs> all right we're gonna walk all the way to that guy poltergeist ready to pg look i was a little babu child and there's a guy who rips his face off in a mirror and there's a scary clown and there's that tree the whole thing was filmed in CB Valley, where my aunt lived, that we went to for holidays. <laughs> I was, yeah, I, I couldn't deal with it. I remember being scared and wondering if there was an Indian burial ground in Simi Valley when I found out it was filmed there. <laughs> Buried where? I don't know. I was a kid. <laughs> Somewhere underneath, underneath all the suburban homes that Simi Valley exists. Recommend Insidious if you want a real hair. Oh, I liked Insidious. Insidious I liked. I did enjoy that one. The Conjuring and the Insidious I really enjoyed. Alright. We are going to... Change our difficulty back to its original rate. Only gets worse. Save. Okay. <sighs> I'm a little worried about having her as a freelancer going in there. Oh, whatever. Ring a bell can beat the black mage. Yep. Saw a movie more recently that fucked you up, Hereditary. I think we saw the kill count on it and it gave me nightmares. Like, that one's bad. That one, for me, that one's really bad. Hereditary is ab absolutely terrifying. I didn't even watch the actual movie. Just everything about it. The way it was done, everything. Alright. Tis? Come to save us the trouble of finding you, Vestal? How very courteous. And just what are you doing here, Adia? I'll go along with the Sky Knight's methods no longer. You've no say in the matter. 
Defying orders is treason, girl. Enough! You have us! Let the king go! First, the Vestal comes to me. Alone! You mustn't! I'll not keep my head at the cost of an innocent girl's! You'll not keep your head at all if you keep running your mouth. Are you so eager to join the captain of your guard? Heinkel, you were among the highest regarded warriors in the duchy, a paragon of chivalry. And the Sky Knights beneath you? I grew up on the tales of their brave and righteous deeds. But what I saw was a band of craven thugs. You defile the title of knight! Green fool. All hands! Seize these four! Kill the men if you must! I don't know how. You know what, Kirm? Anya's just punched them out. <clears throat> Actually, hold on. Abilities, black magic, thunder on all of them. And then we'll default on them. You can actually s slow it down, by the way. I, the battle speed was going as fast as it was because I told it to go that fast. You can go even faster, but the faster one's a little too fast for me. But when you're grinding, having the battles move a little bit quicker is nice. Such valor. You're quite the little heroes. And here I so hope to resolve this peacefully and let the good king go. Party chat. Oops, wrong button. Adia's ire. Yeah, I do like grinding in this. Any guess where he's headed, Adia? The villa rooftop to the airship berth. Wasn't this villa a retreat for the Kaldislin royal family? Why would they have a berth? I agree, it seems incongruous. I use berth loosely. They've driven an airship anchor into the building's roof. Not much for finesse, are they? We can discuss it later. Now hurry, he'll get away. Don't confuse haste for speed. We need to be smart. Right, I know, I know. But I just can't forgive what Heinkel's done. He's a knight who has ground chivalry into the dirt. As I recall, knights are called to serve as the sword and shield of the weak. Not to threaten the public or burn down homes or abduct royalty. I am in agreement with you, Adia. This man is no knight. Perhaps our views are more similar than I had dared to believe. For now, let us hurry. Anya's to the roof, then. We're gonna go and save again. I think I've got like six hours currently logged into Bravely Default 2. <laughs> I really do enjoy it. I, I like seeing the system coming back to life. Or at least just the game itself, I mean. Everyone else just defend. Watch her punch everything's face in. Here, do it faster. <laughs> God damn it, oh yes. They don't have faces left. <laughs> My knuckles. I can no longer feel them. Wait. Hold on. The map. Eh? Oh, there we go. It's the birth. No, <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> We're trying to get an airship because the oceans are contaminated and we cannot take an actual ship in the ocean to get to another land. Heinkel, this is your answer? And still you'd call yourself a knight? As daughter to a true knight, I know their pride is staked upon fair and honorable combat. Release your hostage, then stand and face us! No more running, coward! Ah. You invoke your father after betraying him? He's headed for the airship. That makes no sense. Why should he flee? 
His aim is the Vestal, not the key. He's baiting us? Still, we have to give chase. We'll lose him and the ship. Well, I'm game to brave a trap. I'm following you. On this, let's go! Right. I like how Airy just decides to occasionally ah, cool. show up. You came. You're a bold lot, if not a smart one. This ship is a prison you entered willingly. Nowhere to run now, safe down. Quickly. Really, I must thank you for taking the bait so eagerly. It's earned you a lavish cruise through the clouds, Vestal. And for your friends, a career as ballast. You're a prisoner here, same as us. No more tricks, Heinkel! A knight without chivalry is a common bully. I'll see you stripped of that title here and now. You wouldn't test your elders, girl. I thought to bring you home in chains. But no. All but the Vestal will end here as dew upon my blade. You'll die with the rest, traitor! Sounds pretty fizzy. Is it pretty? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have her take out the Sky Archers as much as possible. Default. Ability. Miscellany. Examine. Find out what the hell Heinkel's weak to. Then. Oh. Damn it. I forgot he can protect them. Alright, I need to slow this battle down. It looks pretty nice. They're all weak to lightning. He can't protect against spells. Um, ability. Shoot, I don't want him to do that. White. Poison, though. On Anya's. Yeah, she can use white magic, too. Oh, well, let's go. Oh, goody. He protects himself. I vaguely remember what the knight class can do. Vaguely. They're just really heavy defenders. <laughs> that's why I did that. <laughs> that that's your, that's the, 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 the extent of your healing, Adia. That was really bad. It's just the fact that he said it was 18 carat. You were like, so you're giving me something expensive. <laughs> it's like, how much is this worth, Dad? <laughs> Are you not feeling good again? Probably just allergies. You have the fan on or the air conditioner? And what? It's set to 670, really? We're. we're, we're, we're I can... Hmm. Oh, he only has 1,758. Sounds like he's gonna die. Here, defend, defend, defend. <laughs> Anya's can defend. Ring a bell can heal? Honestly, Tiz can defend, but Zia can sit here and beat the crap out of him. Actually, what is her ability? Just white magic? Never mind. There are summon spells in this, but I think you need to summon her class. And they're really weird. They're very, very weird summoning spells. I think it's like shows images of modern day cities and stuff. Like one of them you summon is like a train. It's they're really weird summons I remember. Really? This is what you're doing, Tiz? One dip point of damage with your little pointy daggers. Less powerful, uh, raise physical attack for two turns, with a chance of failure, cure a variety of status ailments. That also, I think, heals her. Mm. White magic. 
character. Actually, you know what? There. White magic cure. Do one to Anya's. Do one to Tiz. And then use black magic thunder on Pike. Ben. Ben. Used to give your black mage white mage spells. Yeah, that's what Ring, Ring a Bell right now is my is the only one that's really been working on the mage stuff. Uh, Tiz is kind of supposed to at some point, but I'm trying to up them with their um, freelancer jobs a little. Kind of regretting doing that. Uh, raise physical attack for two turns. Let's try it. And then just attack them. Defend. 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 Yeah. I did it. Beat him up. Put him in the face. That didn't do as much. Oh. Here, do it again. Oh, he's got a special. Okay, do it. Wait. Special piercing bolt go. I'm bored of you. I only did three hundred damage. Our magic attack is up. No one's using magic. <laughs> Dang it. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. family, if you damage the gift cost, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not as long. Yeah, most families do that. Like you don't you don't go into like sitting there and asking someone how much the gift that you got from them cost. Um, just defend. Oh yeah, he's, he's default. He's raging anyway. Um, he's not gonna be able to move for a turn. So let's just do this. Died from thunder with the act of the bonus. <laughs> Anya's gained a level. Look how happy she is with herself. She's all like, I punched my hand through metal armor. <laughs> uh, Dauntless. I think this up attack. You ready to be a knight, Adia? Got the night asterisk. Find 
the giant hole where Tiz's town used to be. <clears throat> it broke. <laughs> we got the airship and then we landed it in that little lake. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna end. I'm trying to use as few items at the moment. I do use items in this game, unlike other games. Um, because you kind of just need to use everything that's at your disposal with the way this one is. Um, douse for treasure, still can't do that. With a level 3 support ability divining rod set, the number of unopened treasure chests in the current dungeon will be shown on the bottom screen map. Give it a try. I don't think I have Dossy Rock, do I? Page through D's journal. There are multiple ways to turn the pages of D's journal. You can slide left or right on the bottom screen, or just touch the jump to the next page. The L and R buttons of the circle pad both work. Why not practice now by reading up on daggers? You'll find it in the encyclopedia's weapon section. Uh, you can equip more than just shields in your left hand. If you use attack with two weapons equipped, you'll strike twice. Sadly, the power of each weapon will be less if you're using it alone, but it might still be an improvement. I have weapons in both hands. So I have to actually use the attack. So we're going to have to go through the D's journal, specifically through encyclopedia, items, weapons, daggers. And you can do... You actually get images of each of the weapons, which I really like. Because it was fun just to see what the graphics were like. I will say I do like the designs on the weapons I've seen so far in Bravely Default 2. What's my favorite class combo? I can't remember, but there is one. It's the one that's on my 3DS, and if I could get my 3DS game to work properly... My problem right now, and I've mentioned it before, but I will mention it again, is if I put my cartridge into my 3DS, it doesn't always recognize the game that goes into it, which, according to Googling, means that one of the pins on the inside is probably bent and likely broken. Um, it does sometimes work, so I'm very cautious with what I do with it right now. Um... I found, just before I had I, I was having problems with the 3DS, I found a class combo, two particular classes, that made my characters practically untouchable, and I don't remember what they are. The kingdom of Kaldisla owes you all a vast debt. I thank you from my heart of hearts. You, more than anyone, tis. A nightmare was visited upon you and your home, and still you rose up to defend ours. I'm certain your feats have earned, Owen, a peaceful rest. If you are willing, I would gladly see you take up his sword. Will you continue to keep this land safe, son? No. You honor me, your highness, but I cannot accept. I promised on yes that I'll join her on her journey. Kaldisla shall be poorer for losing you. Know that you will ever have a home here. The Eternian airship is yours to use as you will. Take it with my blessing. There's not a man in the kingdom able to pilot it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, because I'll it's useless, you can have it. <laughs> horrible chasm to you. I have faith you'll see it unmade. May the crystals keep you in your journey. I will say I do like Black Mage Summoner. Um, I like Knight and the Spell Sword. I forget what the Spell Sword's name is. I think that might be the name of it. Um. There's a few others. I kind of like Dragoon, but Dragoon has also took a bit for me to really, really like. Four available. Um... <clears throat> 
Yeah, I don't remember them all. Izik told me the vampire is supposed to be blue mage. I've never actually unlocked the vampire class. I was trying to and I was having a hard time. So I had put it off to the side until later. Um, I know it's the class that you do not need to get. It's not part of the story. It's there if you want to pick it up. Swordmaster and Pirate. Swordmaster, I want to say, is one of the ones I really, really, really liked. I do not remember Pirate. I may not have touched Pirate much. Do I have Pirate? Do you need Pirate? Is it required in the story? You do get it. Okay. Where am I going? Just leaving. Yeah, I don't remember the pirate class at all. I remember devoting a lot of time and effort to unlocking the classes. Seems I've found a reason to come along. Now, my ladies, all you need do is simply speak the word, and I shall whisk you off to the very ends of existence. And you're really sure that wasn't just a fluke before? Rest assured, my dear. I never fail to properly escort a lady. <laughs> Agnes, will you tell us why they were chasing you? The Sky Knights are a branch of the Eternian forces. The Duchy of Eternia has put forth an agenda of anti-crystallism. Anti-crystallism? A new way of thinking. Based upon the idea of a society no longer dependent upon the crystals. It brands the crystal orthodoxy as a heretic faith, and the Vestals its minions. It was the philosophy I was raised upon. When the chasm appeared, every one of the Eternian forces was given the order to capture the Vestals. They said the Vestals and the crystals they tend were the sinkhole's cause. That's not possible! Agnes has been fighting this whole time to fix what happened to Narende. I know. I'm sorry. You've nothing to apologize for. All of this paints the duchy in a suspicious light, don't you think? Perhaps they know more of the chasm's true cause than they let on. I cannot imagine we've seen the last of them. If any of you wish to go, do it now. I'll not blame you. I'm staying with you. I just told the king as much. I'm in as well. I need to see for myself whether my people are right or wrong. And playing escort is my job. I'll not cede it to anyone. If none of you will listen to reason... This is so exciting, Agnes! You're finally headed back to the Wind Crystal side! Yes. To Anshan, the land of sand and time, and to the Temple of Wind. Anshan, the land of sand and time? This is where we get the time. What's it like there? Like an oasis in a vast desert beyond the sea, we make southeast of here. I mean, I do like Time Mage, I will say that. Time Mage has all the, the haste and slow spells. Press the A button to switch between sailing and flying. That is, to, that said, you probably want to steer clear of the oceans in their rotted state. When sailing a port or sandy shore is needed to dock, it's inconvenient, but that's life, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's inconvenient, but that's life. <clears throat> About Anshine. So, Anya's refresh my memory. Amnesia joke, by the way. Which way to Anshine? Uh, yes, it's southeast. So, will this course serve, or... To southeast, please. Hmm, my dear, I'm afraid I have no recollection to go by. I need reliable directions, or... What should I do? The innkeep said southeast and nothing more. Haha, <laughs> I think I see what happened. Ring a bell. She means it's southeast of Caldizla, specifically. Aye, aye. Ooh, Anya, is just what sort of place is Anshime? It's covered in a vast desert and hot, as though it were always midsummer. Wow, that sounds like the complete opposite of where I was born. Huh, I guess there's all sorts of places out there. This is your first time leaving Cal Dizla, then, Tiz. It is. What about you, Adia? Me? Er, I was a former Sky Knight. I've flown all over the world. Where have you seen? Oh, lots of places. Eternia, Cal Dizla. Cal Dizla? Aw, oh, you're barely any better than me. 
The world is vast, my friends. There are countries of perpetual summer, others of winter. Verdant lands rich in water, entire kingdoms built on volcanoes, nations hidden in forests. That sounds amazing. Or so I'd imagine. I've no memory, remember? What? You're just guessing? <laughs> the world is vast. Keep it that vague and you're sure to be right. He's absolutely right on one of those because there's a city on the... There's a kingdom on a volcano. <laughs> the fairy's so cute. Yeah, like, Aerie's adorable. Is anyone else hungry, Anyas? What sort of food is Anshine known for? Mm, oh, I'm afraid I so rarely left the temple. I couldn't say. And when I passed through on my way to Kaldizla, it was, a, it was as a fugitive. Well, just tell us about what you have eaten then. Hmm? I seem to recall a great deal of Anshine's cuisine being spicy. One bite and I felt as though I were spewing flames. I broke into a full body sweat. That sounds pretty intense. Leave it to a desert people to develop a taste for searing heat. I'm sure the women are no less fiery and... Ooh, what about sweets? Any cakes and things? Ah, I'd nearly forgotten. I had, I had the most curious delicacy in a port on the inner sea. Yes, yes? It... It was ice cream that that stretched. Huh? Stretchy ice cream? That sounds so weird. I can't wait. Get ready, weird stretchy ice cream. Dia's coming for you. Full speed ahead. Ha ha ha. Temperament. Fiery and temperament. <laughs> He's still talking about the women. <laughs> da -da -da. We can't even land here. There's an update with the village. Ooh, we claimed Denaria. Got eye drops, potion, antidote. So the more you do with the village, the better. By the way, this whole village thing, they didn't give up on it. I have no idea what Bravely Second does. Bravely Default 2, you have a ship that you send out and it goes on the Nintendo network. But you don't need to be connected to the network for it. You get better rewards for being connected to the network, though. Uh, we're dropping that down to 30. We're going to up you. We are going to definitely up you. It's 11. I have eight more left. Um, I think I can up this a little bit more. There. And that means five more. Might as well. So we have a whole bunch of stuff happening in about an hour. Or half an hour, I should say. I can't even save until we're on the ground. Is this the only place I can land this? I don't remember. I want to land this here. Isn't this where we need to be? Right here. Let's go. Sit and stay are tricks for dogs. We've arrived in Anshine. Still no wind. Are these desert places normally supposed to be windy? When they're the sight of the wind crystal they are, this stillness shouldn't be possible. The wind carried all manner of blessings to this land in days past. It was the kingdom's lifeblood. I see. All the more reason to hurry then. Which way to the temple? From here we need only head... Uh, we ought to make a four. Which way is it? Ignore anything she says. Anya's raises is getting lost to an art form. <laughs> I'm impressed you made it to Kaldisla. Just a moment. My journal details much of Ansheim's topography. A clockwork metropolis nestled in Harina's sandy bosom. Here, time, above all, is sacred. A massive timepiece crowns the kingdom, fueled as all of Ansheim by the ceaseless currents originating from the Temple of Wind to the south. Quite thorough, isn't it? Sounds as if you've been here before. Perhaps that book of yours is a travel diary? I do seem possessed of a certain wanderlust. The normal sort as well. 
Ooh, perhaps I'll find a train of ex-lovers here among the sands. Let's be off. We make south. She's like, shut up. Oh, no, no, don't skip that. All present, Lord Marshal. Save the usual tune, at least. No matter. Let's begin. I trust word has reached you from Kaldisla. The Knights of the Eternian Sky have fallen to the Vestor. I'd not thought the girl so bloodthirsty as all that. It appears she surrounded herself with capable guards. What's more, it pains me to say it, but Idea's whereabouts have been lost amid the chaos. That is no concern of yours. Do not confuse personal matters with your assigned task, Alternus. My apologies, Lord Marshal. Not only did the Sky Knights fail, they've given the Vestal wings. Why they didn't simply kill the child, I'll never know. Keenly insightful as ever, Victoria. The yes, I fear we've need of the Vestal alive. Have we, Victor? Bah, no matter then. If she fled by air, it's a simple matter to track her. She makes for Anshine by necessity. And to the Temple of Wind. Anshine does face upon the Florshine Sea. Of course. Most of the world's seas have gone putrid. But the inner sea remains navigable. That would offer the airship a berth. But what does she aim to do there? Why return to the crystal now? It smells of some sinister plot. Anshine is the province of the Kammer and Profiteur merchantry. What say you, Lord Marshal? We haven't the leisure of chasing the Vestal across the globe and back. We need her in custody now. Tell the merchantry to employ any means they must. <laughs> Net friend invites having trouble racking up street passes? No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, do I have... Hold on. Ability tis... Is magic defense up? She doesn't have anything else, so might as well put Divining Rod on with her. Does she not have any skills? No, she doesn't. She doesn't have any passives or anything unlocked yet. And I think... Rod Lore, Inc. So... Here's what we're gonna do. Job for Ring a Bell. We're putting him back to White Mage. Um... Job for Tiz. You get to be a Black Mage. We will keep their ability as it is at the moment. Nadia is going to become a knight. And we will keep that, that. Because this nullifies blind. Eh, what does this one do? Increases physical defense. Honestly, I don't know what he's supposed to be good with. Get rid of that. Winnie hat, leather armor. I think he's just kind of stuck with that. Staff is his best. There's something about, so if you equip like something in the other hand, there's a way to do things two-handed. I think you need to unlock a passive skill. And then it means if you have any singular one-handed weapon, like a staff or a sword in one hand and you have nothing in the other hand, it automatically gets used two-handed and it gets other bonuses. I seem to remember staff being relatively good two-handed. Um, we're gonna put the rod on you. 
We don't have an extra buckler. Jeez. Doesn't really have a helm. Never, I guess you get a bronze helm. Uh, isn't there... Here, optimum. There you go. Her physical defense is 46. It's fine. Um, I want to save it before I get a chance. Oh, yeah. Jazz for treasure cleared. I got a high potion. Heal the undead. So undead do take damage with cure magic. Multi-target magic. The weak is effective. Try casting cure on the entire party via the menu or in the next battle. We'll get that on our own. I'm not going to worry about that. Weapons in both hands? Yeah, we know that. Wait a minute. Oh, because I have to... Shoot. Alright. Here. This is really stupid, but we're going to do this with Tiz. Here. Have a... Have a... Have a rod in one hand and have the Mage Masher in another. <laughs> He's fine. Oh, we just got it. <laughs> Here, he doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> just get rid of it. No, that's not what I want to do. Damn it. I'm trying to save it again. I'm worried because the game will still crash and I'm worried about it crashing. That's why I'm saving it so much. Um, I remember the uptick and the difficulty in this area being pretty decently high. We'll find out. Get attacked. Get attacked. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot about this thing. It's a sandworm. It's fine. Everyone defend. It has... Uh, it has it has one BP. That thing is gonna brave right now. Yep. Oh, so much for not here. Inner alchemy. Cure yourself. Actually, do it this way. Actually, do it this way. Inner alchemy. Cure yourself, and then punch wherever it face should be. <laughs> we don't care if Tiz is blinded. Um, you can, you can do that. Oh no, I forgot to change their abilities. Ring a bell probably has magic and ma white magic and white magic. <laughs> Shoot. Oops. Um, you can stay there and just default because... Oh no, no one can examine. She can. Alright. Default, 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 go. It's weak to water. Does ice... Does blizzard count as water? I don't remember. We'll find out. Magic. Black magic. Blizzard. Water damage. Congratulations, Tiz. You can just throw blizzard at it. 15 MP. Go. And Adia's gonna attempt to hit it, and she's gonna fail, probably. Oh, there, we cured every- we hit everyone with a cure. That's gonna give us something. It's dead. His killed it with his blizzard. <laughs> Multi-target magic. We got Wake Up Bell. Update your street pass data. That's never happening. <laughs> Set your encounter. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Set the encounter right. You know what? I'm not going to because we will at some point. Here. <clears throat> Town. Apprehensive vessel by any means necessary. Seems the Council of Six is growing desperate. Those were their words. I've relayed them to you. My contract states I'm to receive payment for my troubles from you. Then your contract is mistaken. I've heard nothing of this sort. Bah, fine. You'll have your fee. 
but I am taking this small discount. Only fair as a regular customer, eh? If you must. Still, this vessel is quite the little monster, no? Do have this Sky Knight so undone? If the margin is high enough, I would tackle a behemoth barehanded. But until I see a profit, I'll not move an inch. Business is business, yes? I don't remember the merchant class being useful. <clears throat> Alrighty, chat. I never expected to find such a clockwork wonder in the middle of a desert. Yeah, it's great, but this heat, ugh, I feel gross. Heat was always allayed by a steady breeze, but now... The wind is stopped, the air is stagnant. What about the water? Is that contraption drawing up drinking water? I believe so. I recall hearing it was quite costly last I was here. Well, it is an impressive machine. Wait, you mean the water? Indeed, I was surprised to learn water came free in Kaldizla. I had always known it as something to be bought, so you can imagine my delight. More importantly, Anyez, what of the women here? Are they beautiful, passionate, devoted? Where would you suggest for a date spot? I'll need a list of good restaurants if you please. Unacceptable. <laughs> this is Anshine, famed for its giant clock and windmill. The inn. Hello, sir. There's someone I'd like you to meet. What do you say? AI friends, these plucky chaps are your friends when no friends are around. You can set a bill of links and summon them the same as normal friends. Sounds sad. You became friends with friend bot. Hard at work, I see. You have no friends. Here's a bot. <laughs> Enter. Short on some items, we carry it all. Um, he doesn't have any ether. That was my problem with ether. Ether's a pain in the ass to come across. Bye. Longsword. Who needs a longsword? Um, <clears throat> she already has that. Mace. That's a better rod. Oaken pole. Uh, more damage when attacking multiple enemies at once. There's a staff that casts, like, Cura when you use it. And I remember that being a staff that I loved. I never got rid of it, and I always used it. Like crazy. Oh, look, the iron knuckles. Round shield. Yeah. Um. You know what? Before I buy these things... I forgot you can base it. Wait. Staff. No. Open pole. Why is it equipping him with the. When I say recommended, it's like it takes it off of this one. Is it because. Hold on. Do recommended and it gives him staff. Why? Why would you give him the staff? Because it drops his magical defense by 25? Kidding me? Oh, it drops his mind by one point. Ooh. Shit. Oh well. We bought it. <laughs> There's nothing to do but to use it. <laughs> uh... Let's sell the daggers.
We'll keep the Mage Masher because we'll probably need it. We'll get rid of the Rod. And we'll get rid of the Staff. I don't usually like getting rid of my stuff all that much. Now, the reason why I'm not buying more... Magic. Shit, this is expensive. Poison, yes. Poison is so useful in certain situations. I've literally poisoned a boss and just watched them die slowly. Protect, yes. Shell, yes. This is where all our money is going. Arrow. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have like no money left. I need more money. <clears throat> Silence, one and all. Your king, Camo the Eight, speaks. My people, I thank you for your tireless efforts. As you are well aware, our glorious nation's production has suffered a harsh fall since the wind's cessation brought the Grand Mill to a halt. Without nature's form of bounty, our turbines went completely still. They sit as silent as the desert night. In the wake of this crisis, you rose up and took matters literally in hand, operating the turbines manually. I, your king, lack words to thank you for your hard work. However, I am much aggrieved to say that energy production is less than one-fifth its former total. At this rate, our proud kingdom Renowned for its unparalleled industry, is doomed to ineluctable decline. I find myself without recourse but to revisit my prior fiat regarding the schedule of all able-bodied citizens. Henceforth, labor shall commence at 0900 hours and will extend beyond the current 1659 until 2059, effective immediately. What? We're flesh and blood. We need rest. In so doing, turbine output is expected to rise to 30% of its former value before the wind ceased output of... Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Brave news! What? The Vestal? <laughs> Be calm, my children. I know your pain all too well. My heart bleeds just as yours. But I ask that you join me in remembering the cause of our woes. The Crystal Orthodoxy and the Vestal's indolence Therein lies the true cause of the wind's absence. And what has the great Vestal done since the air went still? What did she do in the face of your suffering? She abandoned you, fled the country to save herself alone. In this, Ansheim's first and direst hour of need, the Vestal we loved and trusted is powerless or unwilling to help. Though it pains me deeply to tell you of these things, I cannot deny this simple truth. What resolution can be brought about to this terrible crisis? The Crystal Orthodoxy is naught but a hollow creed. What result have years of worship at the altar of the Crystal brought us? <laughs> Once more I say it. It is by our own hands that we shall push this glorious kingdom ever forward. Onward to still greater glory! <laughs> there! Just now that leer! That was aimed at us! Seems that little speech was for your benefit, Agnes. It's slanderous what it is. That creep's given you no chance at all to defend yourself. <sighs> Agnes. Okay. Anya's angst. Seemed on edge during that whole speech. 
don't have to bottle it all in. I'm no expert, but I'm happy to listen. I cannot deny that the people of Ansheim are dissatisfied with my work as Vestal. I have no intention of making excuses. But you didn't run away either, right? The king asked me directly. He said that terrible things were kidnapped happening in Kaldizla and asked that I investigate. Yet now he paints an entirely different picture. I cannot understand his need to lie. Does he bear me some grudge? Have I done him some slight? Do you regret listening to him in the first place? Nick the Gamer 04, thank you for the follow. No, I do not regret my time in Kaldizla. Seeing that chasm firsthand showed me precisely what it is I must do. And you met Tiz there, too. That's... Eri, that's hardly... I'm glad you came and saw the chasm, too. You show me a path forward. Blessed is the person who is needed by someone else. Hmm? What's this? What are we talking about? N nothing it's nothing. Then why are you hiding it? Come on, don't leave me out. I want to know. Unacceptable. To me and to Tiz. Right, Tiz? Er, yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I'm in desperate need of more money in this game right now. Is Anya still under bloodthirsty rampage? Oh, yes. It was the winds that brought this land's prosperity. I fear we're like a ship becalmed without it. The Grand Mill is being turned by manual labor now. So, yeah, because the wind stopped, now there are people that are just turning the windmills on their own. And the king is now ordering that everyone work much longer hours. Like, what was it? Like, from 6 in the morning until 8 at night? So 12 hours? No, 14 hours. If the wind does not return to us, we're all finished. Whatever is the Lady Vestal doing? Wow. People are harsh. Inspect. What am I inspecting? Oh, a high potion. The crystal is kept safe in the Temple of the Wind. It's through the crystal's bounty and shine rose to prosperity, but now the wind just suddenly stopped. That well is under the management of the Kamer and Profiteer mer Merchantry. Unauthorized withdrawal of well water is a prosecutable offense. If you want a free drink, go to the Oasis. I think the Oasis has the thief asterisk. Score more hits with weapons in both hands, but each blow is weaker than it would be normally. If a weakling wields two weapons, they may actually wind up doing less damage than if they held only one. Like Tiz with his two daggers. Onius Oblige, Vessel of Wind. His Majesty bids you come. Did you know shields boost evasion as well as defense when equipped? You did, right? That helped keep the enemy's successful hit count to a minimum, sparing you a hefty amount of damage. Like all these little tutorial messages from the NPCs. Ah, I see you've returned, Vestal. Why then did you not come to me for an audience immediately? I was dreadfully worried, you know. I'd begun to think you'd fallen victim to some terrible accident. So, what of the Caldislan chasm? I fear it was worse even than your majesty had imagined. So tell me, was it worse than the state of your own nation? Are you even aware of the situation here? The wind remains still. And the Grand Mill be called. I'm pleased to see you're not totally ignorant. The turbines that form the heart of this kingdom, the greatest symbols of her wisdom, now turn my hand. The hands of our citizens, compulsory labor service, our survival hinges now upon their sacrifice. And even that will not last forever. We need that mill turning again soon. Not by our citizens' hands, but by the wind. And whose job is it to see that the wind blows, if not the Vestals? I can think of no other value you provide, save that. Anyway, will you now end the suffering your negligence has caused to this land? To its people? Or is that beyond your abilities? Perhaps you would sooner run again, turn away from the plight of your people. 
If that is all His Majesty wished to say, I'll be on my way. I haven't the time to waste here. Should restore the wind and send what? a tornado you, their way. I'll not be spoken to like this. <clears throat> Just whose fault do you think this mess is, girl? That could have gone better. Not that I blame you for getting mad. Mad? I felt no anger. Only fear. The king frightens me. His tone was far from pleasant, but he didn't seem dangerous. The people who had come to hear him speak frightened me the same. Everyone in this city, they see me only as the Vestal, not a human being. I don't know how to speak to them. Just thinking on it sets my legs to trembling. That explains the tense look you've worn since we've landed here. Personally, I felt amazing after that little conversation. Did you see his face? It was purple. I nearly laughed out loud. I tuned him out about halfway through his speech myself. I never did have much attention span for listening to men go on. Now women. I can't ring a bell. In any case, we'd best hurry to the temple. It's all that I can do. Blue marks on the map. Notice a blue mark on your map on the bottom screen. Head there to advance a sub-scenario. Sub-scenarios are chances to see another side of the asterisk bearers. Follow their stories and lay claim to their asterisks to unlock powerful new jobs. It's called Social Anxiety Girl. Do you need therapy? I like how Anya's is, like, afraid of everyone else as if she couldn't just punch their faces into bloody pulps. So what is this temple like exactly? I have no idea what to expect. It is a holy place that has been a center of worship for millennia. To each crystal is wed a Vestal, who spends her lifetime in steady prayer. Vestalings, girls chosen as successors to the Vestals, go to live in the temples. They leave its premises only very rarely. And so, to a Vestal, the temple is also a home. A flower garden with no boys allowed. Be quiet, ring a bell. So you were inside the temple ever since you became a Vestaling? It was quite rare to leave, save for a few public rites each year. Does that mean you were all alone? Wasn't that hard? I was not alone, no. The Mother Vestal, my predecessor, raised me to serve in her place. And there were the Acolytes. They would go into town and purchase all we needed. But you left for this journey. I guess that's proof it's important. No, even so, I had never intended to leave the temple. Never intended any of this. Um, if I remember, we can't just do this one yet. We can and we can't. That well is under the management of the Commer and Profiteer Mercantry, unauthorized with... Yeah, we were already talking about If you've no legitimate business, get out. Don't test me. I believe this is our first meeting, yes? Erutis Profiteer, Chairman of the Camel and Profiteer Merchantry, at your service. How kind of you to pay me this visit. Now, what is it you are needing today? We are the only purveyor of water licensed by the king himself, and we take pride in our product. No effort is spared in providing the cleanest, freshest water possible. The results are clear. <laughs> water humor, eh? Ah, but I have lost the time again. I have appointments waiting, my friends. Let us speak again soon. Guard! Our honored guests are leaving. See they are seen out. Have a refreshing day! What is Adia's job? She's a knight. Can I get in? I think you can search as often. Um, the blue thing, I think it means I have to go there during the daytime. Or the evening. Uh, right there. Teleport stone. Gold hourglass. Oh, I'm just 
checking all your stuff. I'm just taking everything out of your office. We have an update of the village. Oh, the hill part shop com is complete. So is the river part shop and the valley parts and the weapons part. And an area was your claim. Again, so anyone who, who hasn't been here, I found a save file um, alter thing in order to increase our village number. You can have 999 villagers. I put it at a realistic number closer to what I have on my 3DS. I don't remember how many I have on my 3DS. I'd have to actually pop the game and then take a look. But I think I had about 40 or 60. So I just chose 43. It seemed like a good number. Um, there was another area to unlock? Well, there's this one. HP recovery. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we'll do that. Put four people there. Magic attack up. What is this? Combat items? Yeah, that's fine. Six people there. Confirm. Yeah, once you get a, a decent number of villagers, even in the, uh, like, with the 3DS, just with the spot pass, which would be harder nowadays, I would assume, because people just aren't carrying them around anymore. Um, like, you, you, you would get a decent number of villagers. It didn't matter how early on in the game it was. You could just do this. And all these weapons that I'm unlocking, they just mean that once they're unlocked, like the Moonbeam, Grand Strike, Moon Shadow. They're able to be purchased from that little merchant NPC character that's in the red outfit. Uh, the higher ones that are really good are still so expensive. I don't think I bought most of them. Now, if I remember correctly, in order to see what that blue thing is, we need to wait until nighttime. Plus, there's different NPCs depending on the time of day. So the map, you can see that it wants us to go to this, the temple, which is down there. Tactics, config, difficulty, encounter rate, we will raise it up. We need money and we need experience. Oh, we're still blind. Oops. <laughs> I forgot about this. Um. Oh, she's blinded now, too. Inv inner alchemy. Go. Actually, no. Defend. Ugh, white magic cure. I still haven't fixed their skills. Defend, defend, go. I hate this thing. I hate these things. Ability. Not invigorate. Inner alchemy. And then attack it. Um... <laughs> White magic, Blinda on Adia, and then his his does not need anything other than Blizzard. Go, and then we'll see if Adia can actually hit anything while she's blinded. Oh, she's not blinded anymore. Wait, nope, she's blinded again. <sighs> here's, here's the tiny little blizzard. I drop, so how nice. Okay. 
I don't remember if it just stays until the next day or if it automatically switches the time. It's just until the next day. The Cogs of Ansheim. Yawn. Just woke up and already that tired, Tiz. It's this city. You notice how there are always gears turning someplace close? Sure, the sound is deafening at times. Little wonder this place is known for its grand clock. The noise is bad, but the vibration is worse. I can't get to sleep with that hum. I'm surprised you're so high strung. Surprised? I'm jealous of your ability to pass out any time anywhere, Adia. Do you need a bit more rest, Tiz? Oh, no, I'll be fine. Let's get going. Just need some coffee. Oh, let me change their abilities. Otherwise, I'm going to hate myself. Uh, what do I want to change him to? Black Mage? Oh, he has the ability to cast Silence and Poison. Yes, please. Um. Put her at this one. And then put her at... I mean, she's still just at Monk. I need money, period. And we need to wait until it's nighttime. And I just reset the time by doing the sleep thing, but whatever. Oh, there was an update. Hold on. Is that your encounter rate? Which got a remedy for that. What the hell are these things? Venomous snakes. Oh, goody. Oh, good. Now she's poisoned. I just like watching her just losing hit points every single second. Poison's horrible in this game. Look, 52 damage. I think she could just take care of it herself with Invig- not Invigorate, Inner Alchemy. And then punch them in the face. And then... Ring of Bell can stay there waiting. What are they weak to? Earth and Water. Black Mage. Blizzard. All foes. Blizzard. All foes. I don't even remember who uses Earth. I want to say it's a Time Mage? I don't remember. I think so. What can she do with Chivalry Stomp? Oh no, I didn't mean to use auto. Ugh. She just punched a snake in the face. I'm really upset with that. <laughs> did not mean to do that. Poison uh, on it, the uh. Blizzard, all of them. Go, so, try and kill them. This sword that Adia has, I remember not taking it off of her for a while. She needs a shield, though. I seem to remember Knight specifically has abilities that really rely on sword and shield, or at least just a shield tactic. Are we all dying? No. She does have a shield. Right there. What about this Isao no Kame? Whatever. We don't have any good swords. Who's holding the frickin'... We don't have a longsword? Huh? How do we not have a longsword? So without her having an item that's either S or A, I think it's, yeah, S or A, she can't build up her limit break. Also, rejuvenation, we don't have anything for it yet. The limit break for a white mage is an oh, sh can be an oh shit, heal everyone and restore all MP. 
it's it's amazing when you get it built up properly. Just punch it in the fit. Oh wait, everyone defend. I hate this thing. It's budget in its whatever its face is supposed to be. Alright. Here are everyone. Blinda on a Dia. Uh Tiz will defend. Nadia is going to attack its face. can make it move even faster. <laughs> Here, well, Tiz can use his abilities to blizzard the hell out of it. And then a Dia will just defend. Look how fast it moves when you put it at its fastest. <laughs> like, if you want to grind, but you want it to go as fast as possible, you learn the HP 10% up ability. <gasps> oh, that one. I think you need to, like, for every crystal you, like, save, I think your abilities on what you can equip goes up. I want to say. Magic. Oh, no. We're all in... We're all hurting. There we go. More healing. More, I mean, more, more, more battles. Go. The sandworm better not move first. Uh, it's unlikely to. Let's go. Ah, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Here, piercing bolt. Lizard. Go. <laughs> Beat the crap out of it. There we go. Why not? <laughs> I used to stockpile those limit breaks for, like, final battles. I still will probably end up doing that. But for right now, I just needed to enter into the nighttime phase. Why am I even. You know what? Here. Ability, martial arts, inner alchemy, go. And then punch it. I mean, there's nothing else for you to do, unfortunately. White magic, blind on Idea since she's still blind. And then cure everyone. Tiz can defend, and then Idea can try and beat the crap out of everything. Let's go. Yeah, I was hoping for this order. I don't think this is that they're gonna kill it together. I need to get her on a better sword. Blizzard. And I think his limit break gets built up just by casting spells. Well, that was nice. 5 JP. Actually, one more of those will level up Adia's Knight and the Black Mage. Never mind. I wasn't counting it right. It hadn't gone through yet. Oh, hey, there we go. The two-headed support ability I was talking about. <laughs> so if... Okay, so here's how two-handed support works. If... <coughs> just to show you. So currently her attack is 44 and she has a physical defense of 47. If we put that a support ability on... Which...
So 44 and 47. Remove the buckler. Her attack is now 68. Can you make a healer a tank? Um, you could probably do... I mean, you can give the healing abilities the second class, but uh, I wouldn't... I don't think you really would want to try and make a white mage a tank. White mage, all white mage class is still a challenge that people will put themselves through where they'll make all their characters white mages. I have a, I see that. Another update. Bomb fragment. We have six more people available. Whoa, you can go in here. No, that's not what I wanted. Just burnt dinner? No! Is it edible? Or is it burnt destroyed? Makes me sad. Magic. Blind nut, everyone. I hate freaking sandworm. I hate this sandworm. Alright. Come on. It's black. Eee. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. Um. So I know it's not necessarily <laughs> gonna still do this inner alchemy and then punch it many times. She's not winning any of these fights anymore. And it's making me a little sad, but... The more this thing hits us, the worse it gets. Okay, Ring of Bell's gonna have to keep everyone alive if this fails. <laughs> Uh, everyone's blinded. <laughs> That's why I used Inner Alchemy. This may actually be the, our saving grace right here. Yep. <laughs> Plus four experience for killing all, everything in one turn. Yay. I will say you level up the jobs a lot quicker in Bravely Default 2. I don't know how much I like that, because I feel like you really have to work for it in this one, but it's really, really well earned. <clears throat> oh, I can go back to the town now. What is that? Electro Lantern. It's weak to earth. Oh, goody. Punch it in the face. It doesn't have a face, but punch it anyway. Why, Blina, idea? And then we will defend. <clears throat> and Adia's gonna defend. The ball. Was this the game with the tower shield tank? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember anything with the tower shield. Like, your big tanking class that I can remember, the big one is Knight, just because they're so defensive. And I think they have abilities to pull attention to them. What? Yeah, I think Temp if, if Templar is the one I'm thinking of, Templar is one of my favorite ones. Um, don't do that. I, it's honestly, it's been so long since I had picked it up that I don't remember all the classes. I think they're weak to water. Why is there everything in the desert just weak to water? Stop it. His gained a level. Level 13. I think now is when we can go over there. I don't want to use the inn. Excited by your first real journey? Good. There's no point if it stops being fun. Save. Save. Real quick. Magic. Ring a bell. White. Blinda. I really don't care that Tiz is blinded, but whatever. How much money do I have now? 1,145? Eh. A little better. Oh, that's right. They all have different things to say now. Oh, I'm too exhausted to do anything. 
Lady Vestal, come what may, we believe in you, so please, please help us. Someone recognized her. Huh? Who goes there? This area's off limits. Return at once. No, goodbye. Hey, Wind Vestal, you're supposed to be important, aren't you? Do something about this. I am actually gonna go into the magic shop and buy sleep. Yeah, I see Quake in there. Quake's a time mage spell. The royal palace lies beyond. If you would beg an audience, come by day. Can I go in? No. Dang. The crystal is kept safe in the Temple of Wind. It's through the crystal's bounty and shine rose to prosperity, but now the wind just suddenly stopped. Terrible. This is just terrible. With water prices this high, I can't even afford a drink for my children. I see a well just there. Allow me to bring you some. Oof, these prices. Huh? Wait. Speak. I keep thinking of something else. Inspect. Uh, feeling parched. Can we stop for a drink of water? You, stop. This well is property of the Cameron Profiteur Merchantry. Unauthorized withdrawals are strictly prohibited. Ah! Withdrawals? There are people out here going thirsty! No! There are peasants going thirsty. If you want a free drink so badly, go join the other rabble at the Oasis. Which means, go to the Oasis. I have an update on my village again. This update, these updates are insane. <clears throat> Smiley badge. Oh boy. With nine people suddenly available. Might as well. Makes it move faster. Alright. Let's drop... My, because I only did it for a brief period. The encounter rate back to its normal. We'll save it. <clears throat> save it. And we're going over to the Oasis. Kitties are in your lap. <gasps> Ooh. Help someone. What's wrong? Thieves! I... I've been robbed! What? They took my water, my pack, even the camel I rode in on. They took everything! That man from the merchantry didn't say anything about this. He told me to come here, said it was safe. How am I supposed to survive? If I have to risk my life every time I need water! Try to stay calm. Do you know where these thieves are now? The, the, they're right behind you! Let's see. Two, four, six, maybe forty in all? Forty. That's quite the little band they've assembled. We'll take care of this, sir. You go ahead. Get out of here! Used to have a dancer healer and you loved it. I do remember liking the dancer hey, class. Just what are you doing? Letting a good mark go? Our good mark, mind. We couldn't stand to watch you cowards just do as you pleased. You have to stop this. Drop everything you've stolen and leave this place at once. What's this then? Who are they? I've got no word of this lot. Uh, leave it out. It's too hot for this. Change of plans, boys. We're done here. Wait! Leave the goods you stole! Not familiar with how thieving works, then? I'm cross enough already. And to heck with this thirst! The needles in my throat are driving me mad! I need a drink. This anger won't leave me till this thirst has. We're out, boys! Hey! I said wait! Stop, Diz. I feel the same, but they're too many. We can't take them head on. <laughs> Oh, 
40 Thieves in the Desert. I wonder if his name is Alibaba. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh no, I'm gonna make Ring a Bell Dancer for sure. You kidding? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've got some more stuff leveled. Um, Let's do this one. Here, take all of them. This one's done in 30 seconds. Um, also special for ring a bell with the this rejuvenation, we can now do recovery up cure. I think there's one that cures everything, but for now, cure silence. I remember going through these with all of them. Why Why is Anya's down with an S for that? That should not be her. For a staff? Really? Really weird. Here, do... Right now, do water damage. 10% power boost. Yeah, whatever. Be swelling is fine. And poison touch. So... <clears throat> What these do is it adds a water effect to her limit break. Uh, the ability that it will do is it will give it a 10% increased power boost, I think, to everyone in the area. Uh, good night, Mindful. Um, yeah, we're going to be ending soonish anyways, because I know it's like late for a lot of people, and it's usually the time we end. Beast slaying means it uh, if, she, if she uses the effect on a beast, it'll actually do extra damage. Poison touch means there's a chance it will cause poison as well. Um, I tend to do this with most everyone. Whenever I give them one of their limit breaks, I'll go through and just add a bunch of stuff. Not a whole lot I can do here. <clears throat> here, we'll add Aquatic Slaying. No, Beast, whatever. Um, and you can re- I think you can rename each of the abilities. I want to say... Yeah, you can rename the ability up there. So you can change it from hack and slash to whatever else you want it to be. And you can change the message. Um, it's kind of pointless. I used to do it just for the fun of it, but it's, it's kind of pointless. Yeah. Now we have another village update. Special move parts. Ma and magic attack up and magic attack down. So it deals magic attack down. And I have 12 more people to just shove somewhere. I like doing these ones. The ones that give the limit break moves just because they're so useful in the game. I try to unlock these as quickly as possible at this point. Like the other ones I will end up unlocking, but not as quickly as these ones. Um, I'm not going to actually continue it any further today. We'll end it here. But what I'm going to do is I will probably grind a bit in the game on its own. Um, I'm not going to play this regularly throughout the week. Okay, so anyone who's around tomorrow, we're going to be doing... I'll probably do a little bit of Cozy Grove just to wake up with. Um, then we're going to end up playing some Gothic 3 for the first time. Then we're going to be moving into more Zelda. And the horror game that we're going to be doing starting this week is going to be at Dead of Night. Um, we're going to be starting all of that tomorrow. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put Bravely Default in there. I'm going to intersperse it, but it will probably replace just one of the games. I will say that we're up near the end of Zelda. Um, I plan on replacing Ocarina of Time with another Zelda. So, we will still be playing Zelda. In the meantime, we're going to send you off in a raid. I've had a wonderful time. It's been a nice way to relax, and I love this game, and it's really nice to be re-exploring it again. Um... Especially considering I've never beaten it. <laughs> Why don't you, we guys, we send you guys off. Play at Jason's playing Stardew Valley, which means it's Star Deb Valley. He actually plays it with his mom, and his mom's name is Deb, so Star Deb Valley. Go and say hi. Thank you for coming, and we hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.